So I just watched Across the Spider-Verse and wow, I'm not even gonna get started about how good this movie is, like visually, the story, everything, because this is not a movie review channel and I'm not gonna give you any spoilers, so don't worry about that. However, I did notice some things in this movie that are kind of relevant to what I usually talk about, more specifically, self-improvement. I have to say I'm not really that much of a big Marvel fan and superheroes fan and all these multiverse things. I was when I was a kid, but I kind of grown out of it. I still watch a movie here and there and I find it kind of annoying that you have to be a whole Marvel nerd to even understand what's going on in a single movie. But I still am kind of a big Spider-Man fan because I just loved that character when I was a kid and it kind of stayed with me despite what Hamza and Tate said about him, I think he's pretty related to self-improvement. Spider-Man is a character that has gone through so much suffering and trauma and he is dealing with it very well. I mean look, his uncle died, his wife died in his hands, he's broke and it's like bad things always happen to this character, it's like he's a punching bag for the writers. But despite all of that, he is still the most positive hero, he's, he's like cracking jokes all the time and being funny and he is a good person. That takes some emotional intelligence. Now this is not the story that's covered in this specific movie that was just the general spider-man story but it's kind of similar the characters in this movie also deal with pain and suffering and deaths of loved ones love problems and they deal with it in good ways there is some masculine and emotionally intelligent characters in this movie that i really appreciate i like the character of spider-man's dad the police officer actually all the dads in this movie are pretty good dads in movies nowadays are usually all like cucked idiots but not in this movie this movie actually portrays some actual good role models in the family which is good and one of the most important things in this movie is the way the characters respond to suffering, which is, as I said, an important aspect of Spider-Man in general. Instead of letting it break them, they use suffering in, as a way to improve themselves and grow, which is what self-improvement is about. And you know me, I have to pull out a Bible verse for this, so Romans 5, 3-4. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. So now I'm gonna try to not sound corny but what i personally noticed is that the way to become the person that you want to become is through suffering it's a normal part of life you have to go through some <laughs> things but you have to choose how you will react to the things that happen to you instead of being depressed and angry and moody which of course you can feel emotions but ask yourself how you can learn from this and grow instead of being bitter about it and moody and angry and you can look for a character like spider-man as inspiration to be strong during the difficult time and i actually noticed something while i was writing the script for this video and it's pretty important for me and maybe for you too as well when i get into a bad situation when something happens whatever it is that gets me like moody and emotional i use that as an excuse to do instant gratification almost like you know i don't care anymore whatever life is going to everything's going to uh, i'm trying not to swear here everything's going to poo poo anyways whatever it doesn't matter everything's horrible anyways i'm just gonna do it you know and i really have to watch out for that because that's not very spider-man of me maybe you find yourself in situations like this as well where something bad happens whatever maybe your girlfriend broke up with you maybe your team lost in sports whatever and you feel moody about it and then you get the opportunity to do something that you know you shouldn't do because you're on self-improvement but you're like ah oh, whatever anyway everything's horrible anyways and you just use it as an excuse but this is actually the most important time where you actually need to be strong it's easy to be strong when you're feeling great but when you feel bad so let's just watch out for that anyways i definitely recommend this movie it's really good and by the way unrelated to this but by the way if you still have social media i actually made an experiment to check whether it's bad for you and me or not so if you're interested in watching that maybe you can watch it next just click over here and it will take you right there